Hello, my name is Michael Godoy, and my story is entitled Double Lake. It's a story about my two best friends that I made in art school and the first time we hung out, hung out together as friends. My two best friends in college were named Karen, a beautiful bohemian athlete who had lettered in three sports then in high school, had strawberry blonde hair, and was universally loved by everyone who met her, and Stefan, a creative weirdo who had gone to the High School for Visual and Performing Arts in Houston, who my mom used to refer to as that little guy, and who made me feel exponentially more creative and more clever just by being in his presence. Well, these two people meant a lot to me, but for some reason they never sought each other out for friendship or to hang out. That is until spring break, when Karen asked me and Stefan to join her and her high school athlete friend, Tammy, to go camping in Big Bend. Well, Stefan and I were taking a printmaking class, so we couldn't make it to Big Ben, but we did agree to go to Double Lake, a horror film sounding campground that Tammy had gone to as a kid. Well, this turned out to be the most ill-conceived, miserable camping trip since the Blair Witch Project for a number of reasons. One, um, Karen and Tammy became the most annoying jock bullies in each other's presence. And they joked and laughed while they put while they packed up the tent that we were gonna that we were gonna um, use, saying that it had been peed on by a cat while it was in storage in their garage. And I didn't know if they were joking or not, but I didn't think it was very funny. Number two, as soon as we got to the campground, instead of camp, we went exploring and we got instantaneously lost and we turned on each other just as fast, blaming each other for who had gotten us lost. And <clears throat> The idea of spending the night in the pitch black forest was becoming more and more a possibility. Well, we finally found our way out and we made our way back to our campsite. And then number three, Stefan informed me that he, I was going to have to share my sleeping bag with him. I was going to have to unzip it and lay it flat. And, and, and at that point, my, my old childhood sleeping bag was just one step above sleeping on rocks in its conventional state. I didn't know what was wrong with Stefan. Anyway, we all got into the tent, and it turned out it had been peed on by a cat, and we could not. We were not willing to sleep in it. Someone got the bright idea to go sleep on the dock, because it was cool from the lake. It was cool from a breeze coming off the lake, and the, the wood itself was bloated and soft. Well, at this point, I should tell you that Tammy had brought along her dog Gracie, and she tied Gracie's leash to her wrist to keep her from wandering off at night. Well, that worked, but it didn't stop Gracie from waking everyone up with the loudest, most thunderous barking you can imagine. And <clears throat> while all this commotion was going on, I shot up and was totally disoriented and scanned the horizon to see what had woken me up. And it was just that time that I spotted what had caused, bark what had caused Gracie to cause start, start all that barking. There was a little man that had been running, that had ran away from our, from our dock site and he was trudging into the water. He couldn't have been more than three feet tall. He was covered in hair from head to toe. And, and before I could yell out, Sasquatch, <laughs> baby Sasquatch, um, all the campers around the campground shone their lights on us and their, the lights from their RVs and were cussing and yelling at us for waking everyone up with all the commotion that we had caused. And we, so we had to, we were forced to reluctantly go back to and spend the night in the pee tent. When we woke up in the morning, I told everyone my story, what I had seen. Karen and Tammy looked at each other, Stefan and Karen looked at each other, and then Stefan said that he had seen, he had also seen something that night. He had seen a white stag. Karen then said that she had seen a white wolf. And Tammy said she didn't see anything, but I was sure lucky that, that her grace, he had scared off whatever was coming up uh, to the dock because it was coming up on my side. Well, I get it. Maybe I saw something. Maybe I didn't see what I thought I saw. Maybe it was a possum. But we all laughed at telling our favorite parts of the story. And we talk, talked about that the whole way home. And that was actually the beginning of our friendship as a group. It was our first time together, our first adventure. And it was the start of our friendship. The end. Thank you very much.